What's good everybody? Welcome back to Cadillac Cartoons and today I'm going to show you how to get rid of the text in a poster like this in Adobe Photoshop. Now as you can see I have a poster for The Office. I also have two other posters loaded up into Photoshop. One is for Heartbeat and the other is for Arrow. So what we're going to do in each of these posters is get rid of the text altogether. So let's get started. First things first, if what I'm doing today is getting rid of the text, the first thing that I got to do is select it. So I'm going to go to my selection tool over here. Right now I have the magic wand tool selected, but you can also use the object selection tool, quick selection tool, or the magic wand tool. What I'm going to use for this, the office poster, I'm going to use the magic wand tool. Okay. And before I get to selecting it, I'm going to hit this layer so I have that selected. Even though it's the only one, I still have to have it selected. Then I'm going to zoom in on each of the letters that I want to select. And then I'm going to hold the shift key so I can select multiple letters. So I had the letter T selected, letter H, letter E. And then just keep going and select each and every letter that you want to get rid of. So now I have all the letters in the word the office selected. But if I zoom back in, you can see that there are some shadows on each of these letters that we have selected. Now I'm not going to use a whole nother selection tool just to select each of the shadows that are on each of these letters. I'm not going to do that. But Photoshop has a function that allows you to do that quickly. So I'm going to zoom back out real quick and then I'm going to go to select go to modify and hit expand so what this expand function does is it expands the selection it makes it bigger so I like to think of it like I'm taking one of these letters and I'm making it bolder like adding a stroke to make it even thicker but instead with this expand function we're really doing that to the selection and not the letter itself therefore I can select the shadows that are underneath each of these letters so I'm gonna expand this selection by about five pixels like so and if I zoom back in we can see that we have a portion of the shadow selected but if there are a bit of shadows outside of the selection you can just go to um, select again modify expand and we can expand the selection about three additional pixels so I'm gonna hit three and hit OK and now that looks good so let me zoom back out I use command zero to do that okay so now we have the text itself and the shadows selected so now I'm gonna go up here to edit content aware fill so we can fill that selection with the background which is a gradient so after you hit content aware fill this window will pop up like this it says use the sampling brush tool to add the sampling area in order to fill the selected region. So the sampling brush that it gives you, it's just like a regular Photoshop brush, but instead you're using it to give Photoshop a reference to what you want to fill that selection that we made. So I'm gonna hit okay on this window. Okay, and now it gives us like a comparison view. So I'm gonna see if I can move this over. I probably can't. Yeah, I can't. So I'm gonna zoom this out. And then I'm just going to use the sampling brush on the background, like everything that's around the selection of letters that we made. So I'm not going to use the sampling brush on any of these uh, figures here or even the sword. So since I want to get rid of the text and leave just the background, I'm just going to use the sampling brush on the background itself, like every part that's orange or light orange or anything like that. But since the letters are selected, I don't have to worry about going around the letters or whatever. So it kind of excludes that selection when I make a reference for Photoshop. So what I'm going to do is use it like a regular Photoshop brush and I'm using my computer's trackpad and I can paint around the selection like so. Just paint around that. And now with this green sampling brush here, Photoshop is now gathering a reference to the background that we want generated in place of our text selection. So I think this is pretty good. So now I'm going to lift my finger off my trackpad. And as you can see in our preview window, we can see that the text is completely gone. 
So now that I'm satisfied with that, I can hit OK. All right, and now you can see that the selection of the text is still there and it just made a whole new layer with what we just sampled. So if I remove this layer by hitting this little eye icon on it, it goes back to the way it was. Okay, and now I'm gonna use the keyboard shortcut Command D to deselect, and there we go. So now we're left with a complete blank background to this poster, which is exactly what we want. And now we're free to add a whole nother piece of text or add whatever text you want to this uh, poster. That's up to you, but in my case, I'm not gonna change that because all I'm doing today is showing you how to get rid of the original text in the poster. Now, like I said, if you go over here to our layers, you can see that Photoshop made a whole new layer out of uh, the Content Aware Fill tool. So I'm gonna hold the Shift key, select both layers, and to merge them together so that way the text is completely, completely gone, I'm gonna use the keyboard shortcut, Command E, to merge those layers together so that now they're one. So Command E, and there we go. So now the text is now completely gone but if you suddenly want to undo that action, you can use the keyboard shortcut that we all know and love, Command Z. And you can see that it didn't do anything to the poster itself, but that's because we have a layer that's on top that we can toggle visibility on if we want. So I'm just hit this little eye icon here. And you can really switch back and forth between um, the version without text and the version with text, you know, that's up to you. But yeah, that's how you get rid of the text in a poster like this. So now let me switch to the other poster so I can show you guys how to do it again. Okay, so now we're on to the heartbeat poster. And as you can see, we're dealing with thinner text compared to the text for the office poster. So now we're going to do what we did earlier. And uh, I'm actually going to use a different selection tool this time. So I'm going to use the object selection tool. And then I'm going to zoom in on the words, select the layer, and now I'm going to click and drag to make a selection around the text itself. And I'm going uh, I'm to hold off on the H because you can see that there's like a heartbeat line on the letter H. That's a design choice. So I'm going to lift up off of my trackpad to select all these other letters. And you can see that we have the letters selected. So let me switch to my selection tool real quick. And if I zoom in, you can see that there are parts of the letter that are not within the selection that we still want to get rid of. So command zero to zoom to fit. And now we're going to do what we did earlier and use the expand function in Photoshop. So I'm going to go to select, modify, expand. And I'm going to expand that by about three pixels this time. Okay. So unlike what we did with the office poster, we don't see any shadows underneath this text. But sometimes the object selection tool, it doesn't really capture every piece of the selection that we want, like of the text that we just fixed. So now I'm going to go over here and select this letter H and I'm going to use my lasso tool and I'm gonna to add to that selection. So I'm gonna hold the shift key and then I'm gonna carefully draw around this uh, heartbeat line, this heart pulse line of this letter H here. And I'm kind of giving it space so that way I won't have to use the expand function again. Right, and then let me fix this space over here. So still holding the shift key to add to my selection. And there we go. So now we have each and every piece of text selected. So command zero to zoom to fit. And now let's go back to our content aware fill tool. So go back to edit, content aware fill. And now we have sort of a comparison view. So let me move this up. And with my sampling brush, I forgot to mention earlier, you can also change the color of your sampling brush. So if you don't want it green, like how mine is by default, you can change the color right here. But that doesn't really matter to me, so I'm just gonna um, use the sampling brush now on these letters. So I'm just gonna color in everything about the letters. 
well, sample the area that's around our selection. That's what I meant to say. Because I say coloring in because I mentioned earlier that it's like a Photoshop brush and, you know, you can use Photoshop for illustration too, so that's why I say it like that. But yeah, um, using the sampling brush around our selection, we're giving Photoshop a reference to use to generate the poster without the letters. All right, and as you can see in our preview window, the text is now completely gone. So nothing further we need to do with the sampling brush over here. So we're gonna hit OK. And our selection of the letters is still there. So we're gonna hit Command D to deselect. And there we go. So now the text in the original poster is now gone. But it's not completely gone because like I demonstrated earlier, Photoshop makes a whole new layer out of the Content Aware Fill Tool. So as you can see, this layer right here that I have selected, that's the layer that generated after using the Content Aware Fill Tool. And if I toggle visibility on this layer by hitting this eye icon here, you can see that the text is back there again. And the reason Photoshop creates a whole nother layer out of the Content Aware Fill Tool is because some people may want to switch back to a poster with text and without text. But if you absolutely don't want any text in this poster or any original text specifically, we can hold the shift key, select both layers, and use the keyboard shortcut Command E to merge those layers together. But if you suddenly want to go back to switching back and forth between a poster with text and without text, we can quickly undo that action by using the keyboard shortcut that we all know and love. Again, Command D. And now we're free to switch back and forth between a poster with text and without text. But yeah, we have our heartbeat poster without the original text. So now let me switch to the next poster and show you guys how to do it again. Okay, so now we have a poster for Arrow. And this poster looks like it'll be easy to get rid of the text because you can see that within this poster, we'll try to imagine this without text. We can see that there's lots of black parts here, and the only really light parts are behind the character. And the text that's right here in white, that's now in front of the character. So it's really white on top of black, which is easy to get rid of. So let's go follow our steps again. So I'm going to click on this layer. Then I'm going to go to one of my selection tools here. You can use object selection tool, quick selection tool, or magic wand tool. Whatever selection tool is up to you, as long as we use one of these to have the text selected later on. Okay, so I'm going to use the magic wand tool here. Then I'm going to go down to select the text. Okay, so I'm going to hold the shift key in case I have to select another area. There's like a little cutoff right here, so that's why I still have the shift key on. And now you can see that one of our selection tools, it doesn't really select everything about the text. So if I zoom in here, you can see that there are some parts of the text that are not selected because let's look at this font real quick. We can see that it has some jagged edges. So the magic wand tool didn't pick up every single detail about this text, which is okay. We can fix that easily. So I'm going to hit command zero to zoom the fit like so and go to select, modify, expand. We're going to expand it by about three pixels and just check it one more time to make sure every part of the text is selected. Okay, so that looks good. Command zero again to zoom to fit. All right, and now we can use the content aware fill tool. So let's go back up here to edit content aware fill and now we have our comparison view again so let me move this up and now with my sampling brush over here on my Photoshop document I'm just gonna use it and uh, paint in every piece around the text and everything that's painted in with this green color Photoshop uses that as reference to generate uh, what the poster will look like without the text. So this looks pretty good. So let me lift off my trackpad. And there we go. So now the text is completely gone. 
in our preview over here. So let me hit OK on this window. Command zero again. And now we still have the text selected. So we're gonna use Command D to deselect. And now if I go over here to my layers, you can see that Photoshop created a whole new layer with our selection and with the content aware fill tool. So I can quickly switch between a poster with text and without text, like so. And then if you're adamant on getting rid of the text or if you really want the text completely gone, we can use the shift key, select both layers, keyboard shortcut, command E to merge them. And now the original text in the poster is completely gone. But yeah, that's how you do it. That's how you remove the text from a poster in Adobe Photoshop. So if you liked the video or if you found it useful, give it a like and a comment. Subscribe if you haven't and tap the notification bell so you never miss an upload. And I will see you in my next video. I